you need right here in the place you call home. Now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. The heart of farming season is coming up, and Caton International is your KHIH dealer in Crofton, Nebraska. Caton International offers top notch parts and service to keep your equipment running smoothly all season long. Their team of experts is there to help with any maintenance or repairs you may need, so you can focus on what you do best farming. And don't forget to check out their website for the latest deals and promotions. Whether you're in the market for a new piece of equipment or just need some replacement parts, Caton International has you covered. We travel in packs, fearless first-timers and go-getters, sightseers and mudslingers, trail conquerors and adrenaline junkies. We believe great rides deserve great company. And wherever the ride takes us, there's always room for one more. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Discover a piece of Americana at Cone's Corner, a renowned 1920s rural gas station turned firearm haven in the upper Midwest. Since 2004, their updated store has preserved nostalgia with gas pumps and snacks for travelers alongside a selection of 2,500 firearms. Purchase in-store or through Charlie for global delivery. They buy single guns, entire collections, and offer trades. Whether you're a collector or looking to sell, they've got you covered. Cone's Corner, proud sponsor of Castlewood Youth Athletics and Events. At Heartland State Bank, our customers are at the center of everything we do. Heartland State Bank is a family-owned community bank and here for you. We have an experienced lending staff for fast, local decisions. Heartland State Bank offers competitive rates and is proud to provide uptown services with a hometown touch. With four locations in Redfield, Tulare, Westington, and Highmore, we aspire to support the communities we live and work in. Heartland State Bank, member FDIC. It may seem like the smallest town in South Dakota, so how could it have everything you need when you may find yourself in the middle of nowhere? But at Canova Service Center, whatever you may need in the middle of nowhere, that's where they are. Fencing, lumber yard, hardware, oil changes, tire sales, and repair. Rental equipment, feed bunks, cattle shelters, convenience store, and more. So no, you're not in the middle of nowhere. It's the Canova Service Center. We're your local one-stop shop. This is Angela, owner and operator of Amcota Farm and Home Center. From the DIYers, fixer-uppers, to contractors, we have what you need to get the job done. Building supplies, Valspar paint, and tools, Crystal X tubs, fencing supplies, and bog boots for your farm needs. We know how busy life can get. We offer delivery to make your life easier. Amcota Farm and Home Center on Dakota Avenue in Westington Springs. Big city value. If you love being outside, solving problems, and working with your hands, apply now at James Valley Landscape Solutions. James Valley offers on-the-job training in all aspects of the green industry with modern equipment and technology and competitive pay. Benefits include overtime pay, health care, dental, vision, and more. Apply now at jamesvalleylandscape.com or in person at 600 West Spruce, in Mitchell. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator is a proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Mustangs at the State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator has been servicing the Mount Vernon area for over 75 years. See them for your agronomy and feed needs no matter the farming season. They will take care of all your grain handling needs as well. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator would like to wish the Mustangs and all the teams best of luck at the state tournament. Lucky for us, life is full of choices, big and small. They define us, make us who we are. And when it comes time for you to choose a car, home, your next big adventure, 
or start a new business. Farmers Union Insurance has the variety of coverage options to protect each perfect moment. Farmers Union Insurance. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Each family's needs are different and special. Will Funeral Chapel will listen with sensitivity, answer all questions, and respect your choices. The Will Funeral Chapel staff can assist you in planning and coordinating all the details. They will explain all the different options to make you feel at ease and most comfortable with all the decisions. Find out more by visiting their website at willfuneralchapel.com. Their sincerest hope is that you and your family will be comforted by their efforts. Are you in need of high quality lumber for your next project? Looking for top-notch agronomy services to keep your crops thriving? Need a reliable source of propane and fuel for your home or business? Look no further than Tabor Lumber Co-op. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIY enthusiast, Tabor Lumber Co-op has everything you need to get the job done right. And with their competitive prices and top-notch customer service, you'll be glad you chose Tabor Lumber Co-op for all your lumber, propane, and agronomy services. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Agronomy Plus in Mitchell, Rock Creek in Howard, and Valley Station in Armour are your 100% locally owned team of agronomy experts. We offer Agronomy 365, which provides info in real time to make decisions that result in better, more profitable farming. We know you and your operation with service beyond compare. Get a jump on spring planning with Agronomy Plus in Mitchell, Rock Creek in Howard, and Valley Station in Armour. We are ag done right, the American way. Bank West is rooted in South Dakota. Committed to local success. Just like you. We're all connected. In South Dakota. For South Dakota. Convenient, connected, committed. Bank West. CNB is proud to support our local farmers. Rooted in agriculture, we are committed to our customers. You can shop local with CNB, your John Deere dealer, providing you with new and used equipment, parts on hand, and service all year round. Our entire inventory is available to you online at DeerEquipment.com. CNB, proud to be your local John Deere dealer. Live Ticket TV continues to grow and bring you more sports coverage than ever before. And now, Live Ticket TV is happy to announce their partnership into college athletics with Dakota Wesleyan University. That's right, Tiger Nation, Live Ticket TV, and DWU have teamed up to bring you coverage of all home sporting activities for the Tigers. If you'd like to advertise during these sporting events, give Live Ticket TV a call. Dakota Wesleyan University Sports, now on Live Ticket TV.
B&S Services LLC is your locally owned repair service center. We specialize in full service automotive, semi-trailer and small engine repair, along with tire services. Repair services range from a simple oil change to sharpening mower blades to a more complicated electrical diagnosis. Located at 38058 South Dakota Highway 34, look for us on the hill heading west out of town. Phone Cody Barber 605-350-4293 and Arian Schooler 605-770-9398. B&S Services LLC is a proud sponsor of Westington Springs Spartans Athletic. Dimmick Cheese has been making handmade artisan cheese for over 90 years and has over 25 flavors of cheese. Stop by the store for sampling of all the cheeses. The store also offers several South Dakota made products. And at the store, find Remedy Brewing on tap. Dimmick Cheese offers gift boxes and fundraisers are available. To find out more, go to the website dimmickdairy.com or call 605-928-3833. And don't forget to check your local grocery store for their premium cheeses and cheese spreads. Dimmick Cheese. You are a dynamite contractor. Your younger brother Gary is a slightly less dynamite contractor, but together you make mom proud. Look at you two, and look at your crew. Brenda the Calculator Cutler, Bill the Drill Robinson, and then there's the new guy. New guy struggles with stairs, and that'll cost you. Lucky for you, you have IMT Business Insurance. Learn more at imtins.com. Be worry-free with IMT. Advanced Sunflower is your locally owned and operated sunflower processing company that buys all types of sunflowers for the edible and bird food industries. They market sunflowers domestically and internationally, so they have a wide range of options to get you the best price for your sunflowers. Most Advanced Sunflower contracts have an act of God clause, so you don't have to worry if Mother Nature takes a toll on your crop. Give Jared or Danny a call to get you the most profit out of your sunflowers. A credit card that fits your lifestyle and saves you money. Why would you settle for anything less? A Dakota Land Federal Credit Union Visa will earn travel rewards, 1% cash back, and 9.90% annual percentage rate. The right rate and all the right features puts you right where you want to be. Stop by any convenient branch location or check us out online at dakotalandfcu.com. Dakota Land, federally insured by NCUA. Out here, you learn that to keep growing, you have to keep changing. CHS and the farmers and ranchers we serve know all about change, because together we've changed agriculture. That's why we're the largest farmer-owned cooperative in the country. So farmers own the system they count on, with advantages at every step. From innovative tools that help crops grow, to grain processing expertise, to energy solutions, we create connections to empower agriculture. Learn more at chsinc.com. Burke Livestock Auction is a family-owned livestock marketing center in Burke, South Dakota. We are located in South Central part of the state. Cattle sales are held weekly on Saturdays with approximately 65,000 of South Central South Dakota and North Central Nebraska's finest feeder and breeding cattle marketed annually. Mark your calendar for our September 21st fall calf and yearling sale. Sale starts at 9.30 with lunch to start at 11. Burke Livestock is a proud supporter of state amateur baseball. When it comes to sports bars, the Sports Center in Larchwood, Iowa has put themselves above the rest. They open bright and early, 7 a.m. on weekdays and 10 a.m. on weekends, so you can start your day off right with them. And speaking of starting your day off right, they have daily food specials that will have your taste buds jumping for joy. The best flatbread pizza in the area, top-notch burgers, and don't worry, they have the best salad as well. The Sports Center in Larchwood. If you haven't tried it yet, put it down as your next destination. Say there was a place, the perfect place for the everyday things you need to take care of around the house. The squeaky hinges and burned out bulbs. The toilets that run and faucets that don't. That perfect place wouldn't be a warehouse. It'd be just the right size. It would be an ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Welcome to the Home Convenience Store. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. 
What started out to be a small community celebration has grown into an attraction that draws literally thousands of people each year. Mark your calendars for June 19th, 20th, and 21st, 2025 for the 75th annual Tabor Check Days in Tabor, South Dakota. Check food, check music, and check hospitality await you in Tabor. Check Days is sponsored by the Tabor Chamber of Commerce and proudly supports the Tabor Bluebirds and Bonhomme High School Athletics. Sun Gold Sports is proud to call Mitchell and Huron home. With over 50 years of experience, we are here for all of your printing needs. Whether it's for your business, school, or personal, we are your one-stop custom shop. Screen printing, embroidery, vinyl, banners, trophies, awards, and so much more. Give Steph a call at 605-770-6829. Sun Gold Sports of Huron and Mitchell. We print t-shirts. Say there was a place, the perfect place for the everyday things you need to take care of around the house. The squeaky hinges and burned out bulbs. The toilets that run and faucets that don't. That perfect place wouldn't be a warehouse. It'd be just the right size. It would be an ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Welcome to the Home Convenience Store. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Prairie Valley Farm Charlet is located in Platte. Since 1980, David has worked with his father, family, and hired men to provide bulls with the best health, management, selection, and genetics to produce a quality product to meet the customer's needs. Mark your calendar for their annual bull sale on the second Saturday of April. Check out their website at pvfcharlet.com or give David Mason a call for more information. Prairie Valley Farm Charlet is a proud supporter of all Black Panther school activities. Remember, U.S. beef. It's what's for dinner. Located in the heart of Mitchell, Blarney's is your one stop for mouthwatering food, refreshing drinks, and your latest sports action. Fans, it's state amateur baseball time, and Blarney's is your pre and post game destination. Whether you're finishing up the early game and need a spot to eat for lunch or celebrating a late night victory, stop in at Blarney's and keep the party going with cold, refreshing drinks. Blarney's Sports Bar and Grill, a proud supporter of the state amateur baseball tournament. From your innovative attachment solutions provider for over 40 years, MDS Manufacturing. One of a kind. Revolutionary. Game changing. MDS doesn't make the loader. MDS makes the loader better. As the weather warms up, so does our time outside. If you've been putting off your next home project, then Elite Renovations in Platte and Mitchell is ready to help. If you're looking to upgrade or update your roof, siding, windows, doors, and decking, they've got you covered. Interior trim, flooring, cabinets, tile, or drywall, they got the crews. Book a free consultation to discuss your options. Visit their website at EliteReno-SD.com to get started with your summer project. The One Stop in Redfield is a friendly, family-owned business. We carry hot stuff, pizza, sandwiches, and more. Before you take a trip, or if you're just out and about, stop by and fuel up with Sinclair Gasoline from E30 to E85. Use your Dino app for extra savings and your pump and save card for free stuff. Don't forget to visit the automatic car wash for that spotless shine. One Stop in Redfield is a proud supporter of all school sports and activities. Triatel is a telecommunications company that serves over 10 small communities. And just because you live in a small community doesn't mean that you can't get good service. For me, it's really important to be able to work remotely here in the country. If you live in the uh, Triatel service area and you're looking for a good, reliable, high-speed internet connection, we've served our members for 65 years and we're going to be serving you long into the future. Hey farmers, don't have the time or the means to haul your corn to market? Contact Derek or Phil at Nugent Energy. They are receiving corn six days a week and every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. is farmers only haul day. Located in Marion, South Dakota, Nugent Energy also sells distillers and corn oil. 
Call 605-648-2100 for all your corn needs. And check out their website at NewGenMarion.com. That's N-U-G-E-N-Marion.com. A better you starts closer to home with people who understand your way of life and belong to your community. Primary care providers at Horizon Health know you and know how to help you stay well. We're here to keep you healthy and care for you through every stage of life so you can keep doing what you love and make every day a better one. Schedule an appointment at horizonhealthcare.org. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. It might be time for you to strongly consider leasing bulls from Jorgensen Land and Cattle. Here's Cody. Well, it's, it's a really good option to acquire some excellent genetics uh, for affordable price. Uh, it's become really popular. When you first hear about lease bulls, sometimes it may frighten a person. So that this is a different ball game. You know, there's a there's a genetic program behind these bulls. These are bulls that, that have a genetic program and really are designed genetically to very nice calves. Call 1-800-548-BULL. At Lesterville Feed and Grain, they pride themselves on offering top-notch products at competitive prices. Whether you're looking for feed for your livestock or grains for your crops, they have you covered. And with their market bids, you can rest easy knowing you're getting the best deal possible. But it's not just about the products, it's about the service. Their knowledgeable staff is there to help answer any questions you may have and provide expert advice to help you succeed in your farming endeavors. Shields All Sports Store is your one stop for everything outdoors with local experts eager to guide you through the widest selection of brands. Your one stop for exercise gear to get working out or fashions for going out. And your one stop for footwear in your size, your style, yours to take home today. Shields, employee owned, community minded and like no place you've ever shopped before. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home, now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. The heart of farming season is coming up, and Caton International is your KHIH dealer in Crofton, Nebraska. Caton International offers top-notch parts and service to keep your equipment running smoothly all season long. Their team of experts is there to help with any maintenance or repairs you may need, so you can focus on what you do best, farming. And don't forget to check out their website for the latest deals and promotions. Whether you're in the market for a new piece of equipment or just need some replacement parts, Caton International has you covered. We travel in packs, fearless first-timers and go-getters, sightseers and mudslingers, trail conquerors and adrenaline junkies. We believe great rides deserve great company. And wherever the ride takes us, there's always room for one more. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services 
They provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmer's Elevator. Discover a piece of Americana at Cones Corner, a renowned 1920s rural gas station turned firearm haven in the upper Midwest. Since 2004, the updated store has preserved nostalgia with gas pumps and snacks for travelers alongside a selection of 2,500 firearms. Purchase in-store or through Charlie for global delivery. They buy single guns, entire collections, and offer trades. Whether you're a collector or looking to sell, they've got you covered. Cones Corner, proud sponsor of Castlewood Youth Athletics and Events. At Heartland State Bank, our customers are at the center of everything we do. Heartland State Bank is a family-owned community bank and here for you. We have an experienced lending staff for fast, local decisions. Heartland State Bank offers competitive rates and is proud to provide uptown services with a hometown touch. With four locations in Redfield, Tulare, Westington, and Highmore, we aspire to support the communities we live and work in. Heartland State Bank, member FDIC. It may seem like the smallest town in South Dakota, so how could it have everything you need when you may find yourself in the middle of nowhere? But at Canova Service Center, whatever you may need in the middle of nowhere, that's where they are. Fencing, lumber yard, hardware, oil changes, tire sales, and repair. Rental equipment, feed bunks, cattle shelters, convenience store, and more. So no, you're not in the middle of nowhere. It's the Canova Service Center. We're your local one-stop shop. This is Angela, owner and operator of Amcota Farm and Home Center. From the DIYers, fixer-uppers, to contractors, we have what you need to get the job done. Building supplies, Valspar paint, and tools. Crystal X tubs, fencing supplies, and bog boots for your farm needs. We know how busy life can get. We offer delivery to make your life easier. Amcota Farm and Home Center on Dakota Avenue in Westington Springs. Big city value. If you love being outside, solving problems, and working with your hands, apply now at James Valley Landscape Solutions. James Valley offers on-the-job training in all aspects of the green industry with modern equipment and technology and competitive pay. Benefits include overtime pay, health care, dental, vision, and more. Apply now at jamesvalleylandscape.com or in person at 600 West Spruce, in Mitchell. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator is a proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Mustangs at the State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator has been servicing the Mount Vernon area for over 75 years. See them for your agronomy and feed needs no matter the farming season. They will take care of all your grain handling needs as well. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator would like to wish the Mustangs and all the teams best of luck at the state tournament. Lucky for us, life is full of choices, big and small. They define us, make us who we are. And when it comes time for you to choose a car, home, your next big adventure, or start a new business, Farmers Union Insurance has the variety of coverage options to protect each perfect moment. Farmers Union Insurance. Contact your local Farmers Union insurance agent today. Each family's needs are different and special. Will Funeral Chapel will listen with sensitivity, answer all questions, and respect your choices. The Will Funeral Chapel staff can assist you in planning and coordinating all the details. They will explain all the different options to make you feel at ease and most comfortable with all the decisions. Find out more by visiting their website at willfuneralchapel.com. Their sincerest hope is that you and your family will be comforted by their efforts. Are you in need of high quality lumber for your next project? Looking for top notch agronomy services to keep your crops thriving? Need a reliable source of propane and fuel for your home or business? Look no further than Tabor Lumber Co-op. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIY enthusiast, Tabor Lumber Co-op has everything you need to get the job done right. And with their competitive prices and top-notch customer service, you'll be glad you chose Tabor Lumber Co-op for all your lumber, propane, and agronomy services. Do you have a pet? 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Continuing coverage of the first round of the South Dakota State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Here we are on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. They're uh, doing the ceremonial first pitches right now. I'll give you the lineups as we wrap things up and get ready to start here. Lineups are brought to you by Shields. Shields carries world-class brands, and they back every product they carry with their Shields guarantee. You can feel confident knowing you're purchasing the same footwear, apparel, and gear professionals rely on. <coughs> the Elkton Snappers will be the visitors on the scoreboard, and they lead off with Brady Steffen. He's the center fielder. Batting second is shortstop Logan Keel. Batting third, second baseman Aiden Erickson. Batting fourth, left fielder Dylan Gillespie. Batting fifth, the first baseman Kellen Sattler. Batting sixth, the pitcher Aiden Stewart. Batting seventh is the catcher Charlie Harming. Batting eighth, the right fielder Billy Stufen. And batting ninth, the third baseman Dave Bierman. On the other side of the diamond, the PBR, uh, Del Rapids PBR team leads off with the pickup player, um, pick up, pick, <coughs> excuse me, pickup player from Madison, Heath Williams, he'll catch. Drew Sweeter will be at shortstop, Weston Hansen in left, Zach Pitts will be the cleanup hitter and serve as the DH, Connor Spindler is the second baseman, Chris Kropinski, easy for me to say, is the first baseman, Riley Calhoun will play center. Nate McKee is at third. Braden Pankinen is Pankonen. 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 I don't know why I knew that. I just drew a, I just had a brain cramp when I looked at it here. Braden is out in right field, and Riley Hoffman will do the pitching. Those are your Shields starting lineups. We're ready to roll here. The team is taking the field. They'll throw their warm-up tosses. Um, got Jody Brozik. Joining me, this is Brock Greenfield. Got Caleb Titsy on the production down in the truck today. Morgan Gill working cameras. You're getting your first exposure to Morgan. I promise you she's got a better sense of humor than you do. Whoa. <laughs> you can see it's already starting. Oh. <laughs> a challenge has a been A challenge issued. has been tossed out there. Yeah. <laughs> so we are off and ready to... Get what? What is this? Day four? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> they all blur. Yeah, it is. Uh, Del Rapids, incidentally, they're out of the Corn Belt League. They come in the tournament action. This is before districts. They were nine and nine, and the where'd they go? The Elkton Snappers. They're out of the Eastern Dakota League, which is the league that I'm the commissioner for. They were seven and eleven on the season in the district tournament. Elkton dropped the first game to Clark. One to zero on an unearned run that the that the Clark Traders tallied in the first inning, and then they played <coughs> Castlewood, and I believe that was a two-run game. It was close, and then uh, <coughs> they ended up playing Clark in the last chance game and beat them by one. So they played some pretty good baseball. And came through. They they only won the one game, but good enough to get them here. <laughs> because I drew up the bracket wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're not to take anything that. away from them. <laughs> I mean, had I drawn it up differently, it could have turned out the same nonetheless. But I made Clark's Road awfully tough. That's an error. error to start things off. Error. Pretty good tumbling move out there when he tried to throw it after he'd bobbled it. <laughs> That's going to bring to the plate Logan Keel. He is, Logan, a 238 batter on the year for the Snappers. And he not able to check his swing, goes too far. That was Brady Steffen, incidentally, who led off and reached on the air. Keel, the shortstop for the Snappers. A wave and a miss. This has got to be Hoffman on the mound, it correct? Is. I recognize the lefty from his Platt Gettys Legion days. He was always a tough matchup. 
first few years in the amateur level, I think he may have struggled a little bit. Body filled out, got a little bit stronger, and he's still able to hit those spots. Riley tallied a one and one record on the season. Aiden Erickson now the batter. Aiden um, playing second base today in the district tournament. He started out in center field, and all of a sudden, in about the sixth inning of that first game, there was a fruit basket upset out on the field. Everybody moved everywhere. The reason was he tweaked a hamstring and uh, wasn't able to continue to range <coughs> roam the outfield. So he moved to first, and I think he remained there throughout the remainder of the tournament. So Now there is a runner on second as... Coming to the plate here for the snappers. This is Dylan Gillespie. Gillespie, a 354 hitter. Dylan Gillespie has all sorts of pop in his bat. I saw him hit a absolute laser beam out of the park for a home run. He also hit a foul ball that was even more impressive. This one skied out into right field. And Panconan with the catch out in right field for out number three. No so runs on no hits. There was one PBR error, but no harm done. 0-0 zero, zero as we go to the home half of the first. I'm going to get some. Problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Agronomy Plus in Mitchell, Rock Creek in Howard, and Valley Station in Armour are your 100% locally owned team of agronomy experts. We offer Agronomy 365, which provides info in real time to make decisions that result in better, more profitable farming. We know you and your operation with service beyond compare. Get a jump on spring planning with Agronomy Plus in Mitchell, Rock Creek in Howard, and Valley Station in Armour. We are ag done right, the American way. Bank West is rooted in South Dakota. Committed to local success. Just like you. We're all connected. In South Dakota. For South Dakota. Convenient, connected, committed. Bank West. And we're back here in the bottom of the first inning. Heath Williams is going to lead things off. He's the pickup player, as I mentioned earlier, from Madison. Catcher for the PBR team. And he gets leadoff duties. He was a 318 batter for the Broncos this year. Oh, he is Madison it. DQ too now? Did I see that? I didn't know I if thought they were, they the, were Bron the Broncos. I did, but then I thought there was a Madison DQ also. They did something with DQ because that's one of the best Dairy Queens as far as charity blizzard in the nation. <laughs> Who owns that? Don't know. I do, and I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name. This ball hit on the infield. Aiden Stewart is under, I'm sorry, Aiden Erickson is under it, and he makes the play. Erickson, no, no stranger to fly balls. I uh, was very impressed last year when they showed up to the district tournament and they had four or five Legion kids on the field, and those kids were up to the task, and he roamed the outfield very well, gets a good jump and handles about everything. And I, 
I'm sure that I'll be proven wrong at some point, but uh, it's the start at second base with that hammy still hampering him a little bit. At the plate for PBR, this is Drew Sweeter, 444 hitter on the regular season. Same well, result. Sweeter gave him an opportunity to make a liar out of me <laughs> and Aiden Erickson ranged back and made the play. Can you imagine Sweeter doing that? <laughs> Two up, two down. And the batter will be the left fielder, Weston Hansen. Hansen, 360 on the regular season. By the way, this half inning is brought to you by Bank West. First pitch, a called strike. Whether you are buying a new home, building your dream home, updating your current home, or reworking your finances, their experienced mortgage team is here for you every step of the way. That one shot foul. <coughs> <laughs> You're marking him, too. Heath will be so proud. <laughs> Here's the 0-2 from Stewart. And that high fastball is fouled off. That's a tough one to lay off for so many hitters. A lot of people come up empty if they swing at something like that. He, get, he was good enough to get him quick enough to get his bat up there and foul it off. And Boom. he goes down low that time. And it's a swing and a miss, and that's going to do it for PBR. The retired 1 2 3 on nine pitches. We'll be back with the top half of the second inning in 60 seconds. CB is proud to support our local farmers. Rooted in agriculture, we are committed to our customers. You can shop local with CB, your John Deere dealer, providing you with new and used equipment, parts on hand, and service all year round. Our entire inventory is available to you online at DeerEquipment.com. CNB, proud to be your local John Deere dealer. Live Ticket TV continues to grow and bring you more sports coverage than ever before. And now, Live Ticket TV is happy to announce their partnership into college athletics with Dakota Wesleyan University. That's right, Tiger Nation, Live Ticket TV, and DWU have teamed up to bring you coverage of all home sporting activities for the Tigers. If you'd like to advertise during these sporting events, give Live Ticket TV a call. Dakota Wesleyan University Sports, now on Live Ticket TV. Welcome back to Cadwell Park. This is the home of the 92nd Annual State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Snappers coming to the plate here in the top of the second. They're going to lead things off with number 35. This is Kellen Sattler, 324 hitter on the season. Follows the first one into the screen. Bradley Hoffman up in the count, 0-1. Hoffman always been one of those pitchers that's able to hit his spots, and he likes to play Picasso a lot out on the outer edge. You know, I was noticing that in the first inning, and I thought that's reminiscent of Dale Solberg. I got to watch him from the same vantage point a few years ago, and he, he was masterful. He didn't ever catch the heart of the plate. Called strike, and Hoffman's up in the count, one and two, and that one misses. Not by much. He's nibbling. If he dials it in, he'll make a living out there all day. And it's tough on the right-handed hitters. I mean, because if he feels that you're getting on to him, he'll just put it a little bit outside and make yep. you go fishing. Aiden Stewart now the batter. He is the, he's Hoffman's counterpart on the mound for the snappers. Stewart, a 278 hitter on the season coming into the game. First pitch low and away. There's a called strike. Oh, I wounded him. <laughs> Fly in front of me. Boy. Stewart lines that one beyond first base foul. Tim May had to duck to get out of the way of it. while well, he didn't have to, but he did. Kropensky made a nice effort over there at first. Read it well off the bat, just 
couldn't get those little feet chugging catch up to him. Hoffman going to put another one in the books, taking a look early here. Both pitchers dialed in. Hoffman going to record his third strikeout. <laughs> it's a limited body of work, but Aiden Stewart threw nine pitches, seven more strikes in the first inning, and Riley Hoffman so far 16 pitches, 13 of which have been strikes. This one fouled off over to Kopinski at first in foul territory, and he makes the play. Two up and two down. I'm sorry, three up and three down. <laughs> Another clean inning for PBR. So we'll head into the bottom of the second when we come back in 60 seconds, still scoreless. BNS Services LLC is your locally owned repair service center. We specialize in full service automotive, semi trailer, and small engine repair, along with tire services. Repair services range from a simple oil change to sharpening mower blades to a more complicated electrical diagnosis. Located at 38058 South Dakota Highway 34, look for us on the hill heading west out of town. Phone Cody Barber, 605 350 4293, and Arian Schooler, 605 770 9398. BNS Services LLC is a proud sponsor of Westington Springs Spartans. Athletic. Dimmick Cheese has been making handmade artisan cheese for over 90 years and has over 25 flavors of cheese. Stop by the store for sampling of all the cheeses. The store also offers several South Dakota made products. And at the store, find Remedy Brewing on tap. Dimmick Cheese offers gift boxes and fundraisers are available. To find out more, go to the website, DimmickDairy.com or call 605-928-3833. And don't forget to check your local grocery store for their premium cheeses and cheese spreads. Dimmick Cheese. You are a doctor. Back at Cadwell Park, final warm-up pitchers in the books. Final pitch actually in the books. Throw down to second. And we are ready for the home half of the second. Zach Pitts, the designated hitter, a former Volga Cormorant, going to lead things off here. Not Cormorant? Right. <laughs> Zach Pitts has some pop in his bat. 377, his clip during the regular season. Not only pop, but uh, pretty good batting average. Zach said he was talking with some of the Millbank guys the other night, and they said, you'll probably see Stewart, and he's a pretty good left-handed pitcher. And Zach said, don't tell me about left-handed pitchers. Remember, I play against the Del Rapids Mudcats, who has, they have Regus, they have yeah. Heinen. Yeah. Um, those Two in and of themselves are enough. They'd be bigger challenges than pretty much anybody else. Have you had time to reflect on that Mater's one nothing victory and how impressive that game was between them and the Mudcats? I spent all night reflecting on that. I'll bet you did. No, it was, it was, I mean, it was tremendous. That ball popped out into foul territory over by first. Sattler took care of it. Pitt's taking a seat now, and uh, everybody's saying it's Connor Spindler coming to the plate. And I think Connor Spindler is a Webster graduate. I reached out to him a few years ago. He was a stud for the whatever college he was going to, and my dad had read an article about him, and I said to him, hey, if you're going to be home for the summer, why don't you play ball for Clark? He uh, broke my heart and said he was going to take the summer off. He was kind of burnt out after a grueling college season happens when i saw his name on the lineup card today i well i'm glad he's back on the field i just wish it was up north <laughs> gonna take a look at a called strike spindler again uh stepping in what the heck did i say is bad 267 267 that's gonna it get just rose yeah Perfect in the state tournament, one for one. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice hit into that right center gap. Snappers knew, do a nice job of tracking it quickly and limiting him to that single. And if you're following along on Game Changer, it's not a typo. Stefan is the center fielder and Stufen is the right fielder. <laughs> Got a couple Aidens. I'll mix those two up as the day goes on, undoubtedly. This one's tapped out there to the second base hole. And Aiden Erickson ranges over. He was cheating up the middle a little bit, so he had to go quite a ways to track it down, but he's able to make the play. Spindler is at second base with two down. Better is Riley Calhoun. You know anything about him? I do. First of all, we got to mention that was Chris Kropensky. That was oh, the, the batter. Sorry. I missed that. And Riley Calhoun. Where in the heck were we? We were at uh, maybe the selection show and everybody was coming in and there was a Calhoun from here, a Calhoun from there, and then PBR was announced and they, somebody said, another Calhoun on the team. What the heck is it with the Calhouns? They're like, <laughs> Riley, a great kid. Engineer over in the Sioux Falls area, graduated in 2018. He's played uh, all of his amateur baseball, I think, with Del Rapids PBR. Riley always been a good bat at the plate right now on the regular season, hitting just below 300 at 294. Yeah, you got Riley Calhoun, Austin Calhoun, John Calhoun, who's the director of the Baseball Association back in winter. <laughs> Big pitch, one, two. And there's a swing and a miss, so PBR goes down. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one man left in the bottom of the second. That'll take us to the top of the third. We remain scoreless, and we'll be back in a minute. Mike Contractor. Your younger brother, Gary, is a slightly less dynamite contractor, but together, you make mom proud. Look at you two, and look at your crew. Brenda the Calculator Cutler, Bill the Drill Robinson, and then there's the new guy. New guy struggles with stairs, and that'll cost you. Lucky for you, you have IMT Business Insurance. Learn more at imtins.com. Be worry-free with IMT. Advanced Sunflower is your locally owned and operated sunflower processing company that buys all types of sunflowers for the edible and bird food industries. They market sunflowers domestically and internationally, so they have a wide range of options to get you the best price for your sunflowers. Most advanced sunflower contracts have an act of God clause, so you don't have to worry if Mother Nature takes a toll on your crop. Give Jared or Danny a call to get you the most profit out of your sunflowers. A credit card that fits your lifestyle and saves you money. Why would you settle for anything less? A Dakota Land Federal Credit Union Visa will earn travel rewards, 1% cash back, and 9.90% annual percentage rate. The right rate and all the right features puts you right where you want to be. Stop by any convenient branch location or check us out online at dakotalandfcu.com. Dakota Land, federally insured by NCUA. Out here, you learn. And we're back here in the top of the third inning. Billy Stufen steps up, the right fielder for the Snappers, batted 209 on the season. I got to see him swing the bat a few times last year, and uh, he is he's pretty pretty good. Um, made solid contact several times, so 209, not indicative of what he's capable of. Down in the count, though, 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. And that made a liar out of me. He, he swings the bat better than that. That He was apparently fooled by that pitch. Goes down on strikes. Lefty on lefty, a tough matchup. David Bierman now the batter. Playing third base for the snappers. Taking a look at Bierman. Where is he? 29. There we go. He's going to cut at that uh, fastball. He's a 250 hitter for the snappers. This is a team that's in their second year of existence. Right. Uh, yeah, two state tournament appearances under their belt. A lot of young kids on there on the team. They've had some really good youth programs over there, and it was good to see them 
get a get a start on an amateur team. Last year they had a few more older guys that were in the mix, um, taking on a little bit younger complexion this year. They didn't lose a lot of guys, but the ones they did, I think probably just said we'll be around to help jumpstart the team. So Beerman down in the count, 0-2. Riley doing a good job getting ahead. And this ball is tapped up the middle and flagged down, and it's going to be a base hit. Yeah. Great little effort there by the shortstop coming up the middle. I, first of all, I like Hoffman recognizing I'm not going to leap and put this ball and ricochet it one way or the other. I'm going to give my shortstop a chance. And then Sweeter did make a nice little play, a little tumble pirouette, as you said earlier, and... No throw. He recognized nothing good would come from that, that it was a good hit. Yeah, about the worst thing you can do in that situation is try to do something superhuman, which oftentimes lead to, leads to an errant throw. Look at the mechanics on that. It looks like Sweeter is down on the 1-6 put out. Probably got spiked. I would say it was hard and clean. It didn't look to be anything malicious. No. Stefan's going to reach on the fielder's choice and take second on the air is how that's going to be scored, correct? Yep. Sweeter going to try walking this one off. And he's pointing, get him off the bags. <laughs> Sweeter's like, we got him. <laughs> oh. Are they saying that no? There was no field. Oh, no, no, that's the runner from... Right. And it's I don't think batter. he rec right. And I don't think Drew recognized that. Momentarily, I was confused to go along with all the well, other times. Yeah, Jody, it's kind of a <laughs> constant state. The Brock and Bro show has started. Drew still talking out there. You know, Grant Sweeter also plays on this team. Pitcher, a couple Lennox boys playing up in Dells. That's kind of sacrilegious. <laughs> <laughs> First pitch to Logan Keel misses high and away for ball one. Keel started off the game 0 for 1, looking to get on for the first time. Bradley Hoffman down in the count, 2-0 here. Boy, he's really battling inside, trying to catch that inside edge and just can't do it. Well, go back to where you make a living. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Played for three pitches and... Basically went home. Outside pitch for strike. Full count now with two down, runner on second. And there's ball four. I just took a, a glance, a gander, I was going to say, at the uh, Elkton Snappers lineup card. Dylan Keel was... A pretty important cog in the machine. He's not here today. I don't know where where he is, and that's not a concern of mine. I just noticed that he wasn't on the field, and he's not on the bench. So people have other obligations, and today he's predisposed. First pitch to Aiden Erickson misses outside. Runners on first and second. 1-0 the count here with two down. Half-hearted swing and comes up empty. No half-hearted swing there. He no. let her rip. One-two now the count. And here's the pitch, and that's going to be... Caught him. I thought it was a strike. I did, too. Wow. <laughs> According to the home plate ump, he steps out, and he, 
he just points at his hands like it must have grazed the hands. That'll draw a trip <laughs> to home plate to visit about this from the head coach. I wish I would have asked for a replay. Hey, Caleb down in the truck, do we have instant replays teed up? Go ahead and turn them on. Oh, insubordination. You may be getting another color guy, and I'll go down and do the truck. <laughs> so bases are loaded, and a very dangerous Dylan Gillespie is up, follows the first one off. Gillespie, a college ball player. Got to know him a little bit a couple of weeks ago on the, on the field up at the uh, District 1 tournament. And we're going to have first blood drawn by the snappers on the wild pitch. Stefan comes in to score the snappers' first run. Keel moves up to third. And Aiden Erickson is on second. That's unusual. You really don't see Hoffman put one in the dust like that that often. It's good for first blood, though. Another foul ball back into the net. One and two the count. Oh, we got a ball boy who hung out to dry in the, at the backstop. Gillespie hit that one hard, but right up to the third baseman, and then he fires across. It's dug out. That's Makita Kropinski for the third out, and the inning summary, one run on one hit. There was one error and two men left on base. We'll head into the bottom of the third. Elkton Snapper is now on top of PBR 1-0, and we'll be back with the PBR half in 60 seconds keep growing, you have to keep changing. CHS and the farmers and ranchers we serve know all about change because together we've changed agriculture. That's why we're the largest farmer-owned cooperative in the country. So farmers own the system they count on with advantages at every step. From innovative tools that help crops grow to grain processing expertise to energy solutions, we create connections to empower agriculture. Learn more at chsinc.com. Burke Livestock Auction is a family-owned livestock marketing center in Burke, South Dakota. We are located in South Central part of the state. Cattle sales are held weekly on Saturdays with approximately 65,000 of South Central South Dakota and North Central Nebraska's finest feeder and breeding cattle marketed annually. Mark your calendar for our September 21st fall calf and yearling sale. Sale starts at 9.30 with lunch to start at 11.00. Burke Livestock is a proud supporter of state amateur baseball. When it comes to sports bars, the Sports Center in Larchwood, Iowa has put themselves above the rest. They open bright and early, 7 a.m. on weekdays and 10 a.m. on weekends, so you can start your day off right with them. And speaking of starting your day off right, they have daily food specials that will have your taste buds jumping for joy. The best flatbread pizza in the area, top-notch burgers, and don't worry, they have the best salad as well. The Sports Center in Larchwood. If you haven't tried it yet, put it down as your next destination. We're back. The um, leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the third inning for PBR is Nate McKee. He's the eighth batter in the order. Took the first one for a ball, and there's another one. This half inning brought to you by a couple sponsors, Blarney's, family-friendly sports bar and grill with 38 draft beers and an array of food choices ranging from our famous stone-fire pizza to the best burgers in the area. Stop in at Blarney's. Pretty good Philly cheesesteak, too. All the Philly steaks you can eat. That's a lyric from uh, Motown Philly. Okay. By Boys to Men. <laughs> Two and one now the count. Dakota Land uh, Federal Credit Union also our sponsor for this half inning. And there's a called strike. Dakota Land Federal Credit Union is a full service financial institution taking pride in serving its members. They offer savings accounts, checking accounts, credit cards, and 
advantage ATM and debit cards. It's going to plunk him. It's going to skip in and spike him in the box. There you get your shot of uh, McKee scooting on down. Real quick, McKee, a 279 hitter for PBR during the course of the regular season. And that will bring my guy, Braden Panconan, to the plate, the right fielder hitting just above the Mendoza line. 227 hitter on the regular season. When they announced him, when Joe announced him, I looked up and I was so, I, I, my heart just was so full of joy that he doesn't have those short little pants on. <laughs> Is that an amateur rule? Well, it's not, but it should be. <laughs> oh, he's such a good kid, though. Talked to him last year after his first state appearance as a pickup Legion player. And uh, <laughs> he enjoyed the experience and really fun to visit. A lot of joy in my heart visiting with him <laughs> in the parking lot after the game. <laughs> but, yes, the long white pants, oh. I would agree that traditionally this looks much better. Traditionally. I fat fingered it here just a minute ago and I've got the wrong scenario so. What happened on the last pitch? Swing in strike and a swinging strike three for out number one. Talked about Hoffman picking up a few strikeouts. Now we got Stewart collecting his third strikeout here in the bottom of three. That'll flip it over to the top of the order. This is going to be the Legion pickup player, Keith uh, Williams. Amateur. Oh, amateur, yeah, from Madison. This is Keith Williams. Flied out to the second baseman in his first plate appearance, or his first at bat of the day. Took that one for a called strike. I think you said he batted 318 on the season. Yep. Off the pitcher's foot, this is going to be a base hit. And taking a look, it, he did everything he could to get to the ball, but Stewart really, I think he may be feeling that a little bit. A lot of adrenaline going after you get hit by that ball and you're able to run just off pure adrenaline. And as soon as you relax a little bit, oh, it's going to start to smart. Eastman going to be the courtesy runner. He is the he is a Legion pickup player from that Dell squad that finished, I believe, third or third and fourth. However, you look at that, the State B Senior Legion over in Salem, great tournament over there, and that'll bring to the plate. This is number five, Drew Sweeter, the big stick. First pitch to Sweeter is taken high for a ball. 1-0 the count. One down, runners on first and second. That one misses. Next pitch going to be a dangerous one. Sweeter up in the count, 2-0. If you lay one across, just to get it over, he's going to know what to do with it. Here's the pitch. And he goes after it and comes up empty. Just taking a look for the first time in four days. Flag is blowing out here at Cadwell. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> We've seen winds out of the straight north, northwest, through the first three days of action. What a beautiful Saturday morning here in Mitchell. There he takes that curveball, got the pitch he was looking for. This is guy, I was going to say, Dylan Gillespie has a good arm out there. Everybody knew that, huh? Everybody but me. <laughs> <laughs> Solberg stops. Who is that? Not Hanson. McKee. McKee over on third. Speaking of Hanson, he's going to step to the plate. Bases full of PBR players. Is that kind of like a six-pack? I guess. <laughs> a three-pack of PBRs. First pitch fouled into the net. Stewart up in the count, 0-1. Oh, 
Trying to work out of a little jam here. Here's the pitch. And that's fouled off. It looks like PBR is really sitting on Stewart's curveball the second time through the order. Sweeter was able to deposit that one into left field, and here Hansen was looking curve and just missed on it. Well, Sattler decided to go to first. He uh, would have if he presumably, comes home first. Yeah. Would have had time to make the throw, but he made sure he got an out. And everybody else moves up 90 feet, and they tally their first run. That was McKee coming across. Not necessarily a bad play, but the ideal probably scenario would have been to throw to home, home, and maybe get back to your bag for a home and first. That'll bring to the plate. This is number 10, Pitts. Zach, Zach Pitts. Pitts. Where's his brother playing this year? Well, Noah played for the Volga Cormorants. I, I don't know for sure. I'd heard that Parker isn't playing this summer. Don't quote me on that, though. Stefan will make the catch over in right center on that lazy fly ball, and everything is resolved. There was one run on two hits, no errors, and two men left on base. We'll head into the top of the fourth inning. We're not at one again. Say there was a place, the perfect place for the everyday things you need to take care of around the house. The squeaky hinges and burned out bulbs. The toilets that run and faucets that don't. That perfect place wouldn't be a warehouse. It'd be just the right size. It would be an ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Welcome to the Home Convenience Store. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. What started out to be a small community celebration has grown into an attraction that draws literally thousands of people each year. Mark your calendars for June 19th, 20th, and 21st, 2025 for the 75th annual Tabor Check Days in Tabor, South Dakota. Check food, check music, and check hospitality await you in Tabor. Check Days is sponsored by the Tabor Chamber of Commerce and proudly supports the Tabor Bluebirds and Bonhomme High School Athletics. Sun Gold Sports is... He said it. Welcome back to Cadwell Park here in Mitchell, South Dakota. Let's go ahead and take a look at the batter at the plate. This is number 16, Aiden Stewart. Oh, this is Kellen Sattler. Oh, 26, right? Oh. Uh, 35. 35. Okay, two, here. Two swings and, and misses. <laughs> Where's my glasses? <laughs> First pitch was a called strike. Second one fouled off. A couple uh, inning sponsors, MDS Manufacturing. They make the load be loader better. MDS leads the way with quality in manufacturing, pricing, integrity, and business development. And Hanky Tractor Repair. They are the leading deal. Uh, they are a leading dealer in ATV and UTV sales in the region. They are located 20 miles south of Mitchell on Highway 37 in Parkston. Two foul balls and a cut. That's a three pitch strikeout. For who is that? <laughs> Sattler. Sattler. <laughs> Here is Stewart coming to the plate. Stewart. The counterpart here to Hoffman, lefty-on-lefty lefty matchup. Sattler now 0 for 2 on the day. Hoffman really efficient, efficient, hitting only 44, now 45 pitches. Stewart up in the count, 2-0. Or Hoffman dials in and misses. Pretty close. Here's the 3 0. Oh, swings. He hit it hard. He did. I'm shocked to see the green light on the 3 0. You can hear me <laughs> lose my breath a little bit. <laughs> but got the pitch he wanted. Charlie Harming, the seven batter in the order and serving as the catcher. 
for the snappers. Steps up to the plate, over one today. This one gonna be yanked, excuse me, sliced. I mentioned uh, the young kids that were Legion pickups last year who were playing. Charlie Harming, one of those guys in the district tournament. There's a swing. Um, he caught, he pitched, and he served as their acting manager, writing the lineups, etc. when their manager was not around. So they put a lot of burden and a lot of responsibility on the young kid. He goes down on strikes this time. There were three up and three down for the Elkton Snappers in the top of the fourth. We'll head into the bottom of the fourth and be back in one minute. Proud to call Mitchell and Huron home. With over 50 years of experience, we are here for all of your printing needs. Whether it's for your business, school, or personal, we are your one-stop custom shop. Screen printing, embroidery, vinyl, banners, trophies, awards, and so much more. Give Steph a call at 605 770-6829. Sun Gold Sports of Huron and Mitchell. We print t-shirts. Say there was a place, the perfect place for the everyday things you need to take care of around the house. The squeaky hinges and burned out bulbs. The toilets that run and faucets that don't. That perfect place wouldn't be a warehouse. It'd be just the right size. It would be an ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Welcome to the Home Convenience Store. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Prairie Valley Farm Charlet is located in Platte. Since 1980, David has worked with his father, family, and hired men to provide bulls with the best health, management, selection, and genetics to produce a quality product to meet the customer's needs. Mark your calendar for their annual bull sale on the second Saturday of April. Check out their website at pvfcharlet.com or give David Mason a call for more information. Prairie Valley Farm Charlet is a proud supporter of all Black Panther school activities. Remember, U.S. beef, it's what's for dinner. And we're back. They're going to complete their warm-up tosses, and I'm going to read a couple more of our game sponsors. James Valley Landscape. Their landscape professionals bring your outdoor vision to life, transforming the exterior of your home or business with low-maintenance, high-quality plants, and hardscape materials. And Agronomy Plus. Offering agronomy 365, which gives live information, which results in more profitable return in crops for you. Three locations across the Mitchell area. Look them up, Agronomy Plus. Leading things off here, this is going to be Connor Spindler. Spindler one for one on the day. Hit that line drive out into right center field in his first at bat. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Pretty Jason easy. Sight, go ahead. No, I was just going to say pretty easy for this home plate umpire. <laughs> Both pitchers doing a nice job on that outside edge. I was going to say Jason Seitz is the home plate umpire over there at third base is Jacob Samp, and the first base ump is Tim May. Here's the pitch, and that's a ball, two and one. I see a goose. This one, a moonshot on the infield. Oh, error. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Erickson's got to be saying too. <laughs> Maybe he's not saying anything, but he's thinking, why didn't he just let me call him off? <laughs> well, if anybody's going to call... I mean, if anybody's going to take charge on that, that's not the second baseman. It should be the shortstop. That's generally what you do on the infield. After the error. And there's another error. Things are snowballing a little bit here on the snappers. A couple. 
errors. See if they can gather their composure and rally back. This is going to be Riley Calhoun step into the plate, the center fielder for PBR. Calhoun, the number seven hitter in this order, is 0 for 1 with a strikeout today. He shows bunt. This one going to get into the grass in foul territory for strike one. I think when a guy like Riley Calhoun gets the bunt sign, he thinks, I'm probably up to the task here. I'll drop it down and beat it out. Yeah, he's thinking bunt and single all day long. He, you know, clearly bunting for a sacrifice, but he doesn't just want to be content with that. Here's the 0-1. Look for him to square again. Nobody's at first. That is not a physical error. It is a mental error. So it's a base hit. Yep. I was wondering if it was going to be time for a trip to the mound and quickly out of the dugout. Here comes Steve Erickson. He's not upset with anybody. He just wants to give these kids a chance to settle down and think about it. Actually talk scenarios about what's going to happen here in the future instead of about what's happened in the past. A lot of discussion out there on that mound, and it's not Stewart. He's talking to the right side of that defense, and got to get them collected. But great, great little analogy there, Riley Calhoun. He's always been a 110% guy. He saw that Erickson wasn't going to get there. He was giggling probably two-thirds down the line or thinking, where are they coming from? Now to bring to the plate, this is number 15. This is Nate McKee. Didn't McKee single to, to right center also? McKee's 0 for 0 on the day, so the answer to that is no. no. He was hit by the pitch. And was that a ball? I think so. Yeah. Two zero the count now. No. Well, okay. Did he flash it? Did the no. No, I still think it's two zero. Two one. It is two one. All right. Well, we'll get her figured out. And that runs the count to three and one. Big pitch with no room of anywhere on the bases. There's a called strike. He just reached and delivered. Reached back and cooked one home. It sounded like a broken bat. Only play is going to be at one for out number one. Erickson going to flip it over to his first baseman, Sattler. But it's going to be an RBI fielder's choice. A key doing the job. Number nine hitter, Braden Panconan, coming to the plate. Panconan struck out his only other appearance. Charlie Harming did a heck of a job to... <laughs> He did the go go gadget arm. I don't know how he reached out far enough to glove that, but he didn't allow it to get to the backstop, and it did save a run, at least for the time being. 1 0 the count to Braden. And Stewart tries to paint the outside corner and misses. Same spot. See if he can start the climb back. We saw a 3 0 cut in the last half inning. Do we see one here? Oh, by the pitcher, in fact. Yeah. The old automatic was good. Outside, and Pancona draws the 
And that'll bring the pickup player from Madison to the plate with the bases loaded. Heath Williams. As a pickup player, you not only get picked up, they stick you at the top of the lineup. Yeah, that says a lot. He's one for two today. He's going to step in with one out, and the base is juiced. This one misses outside. i got to believe that Stewart's running on borrowed time right now. He needs a big double play ball, or he somehow needs to get out of this inning, and he's struggled to find the plate these la the, in this inning. Kind of all started to snowball once they committed the first error. Yeah. Two physical errors, one mental error. Deep down that right foul line. ball. Not quite. <clears throat> you know, the previous days with that wind blowing in from the north northwest, it was pretty obvious that it wasn't going to bite down the line. This one, the flag laying flat and center, took a little bit. You got better eyes than me. You've proven that a couple times. Today, yeah. but I was like, I do everything better than you. Uh, everything. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Here's the 2 1. Fisted foul. Harming hustle player. I'm keeping a. Uh, Keeping one eye on the Junior Legion game up in Groton, Clark in Consolation action, Clark Willow Lake or Clark area, and they're up on Warner Ipswich Northville or Northwestern 10-4. Not that anybody listening really probably cares, but <laughs> what the heck. That was so far inside that it was oh, outside. Wow. That is a huge break. Absolutely an enormous break. Uh, the the pitch was nowhere near. Runs the count full, and then Kropinski saw that saw that uh, I got a great chance at getting there. But what happened was it came hard off the the brick wall. Harming caught it barehanded and flipped it to the pitcher. And I mentioned a couple pitches ago, Harming just one of those hustle players. Even when there's really no chance, he doesn't quit until the play is dead. He catches that nice ricochet and is able to uh, relay it to Stewart for the 2-1 put out. That's a big break. Here's going to be a payoff pitch from Stewart. Has a sign and going to get Williams on the cut and the miss. Boy, that is a great job of limiting the damage. Two errors, as I said, to start the inning, and then the mental error, and they come up. They only they they come up huge and only give up one run, one run, one hit, two errors plus the mental error, and two men left on base. We'll head into the top of the fourth inning. PBR now leads the Snappers two to one. We'll be back in a minute. Get it in the heart of Mitchell. Blarney's is your one stop for mouthwatering food refreshing drinks, and your latest sports action. Fans, it's state amateur baseball time, and Blarney's is your pre- and post-game destination. Whether you're finishing up the early game and need a spot to eat for lunch or celebrating a late-night victory, stop in at Blarney's and keep the party going with cool, refreshing drinks. Blarney's Sports Bar and Grill, a proud supporter of the state amateur baseball tournament. From your innovative attachment solutions provider for over 40 years, MDS Manufacturing. One of a kind. Revolutionary. Game changing. MDS doesn't make the loader. MDS makes the loader better. As the weather warms up, so does our time outside. If you've been putting off your next home project, then Elite Renovations in Platt and Mitchell is ready to help. If you're looking to upgrade or update your roof, siding, 
Windows, doors, and decking, they've got you covered. Interior trim, flooring, cabinets, tile, or drywall, they got the crews. Book a free consultation to discuss your options. Visit their website at EliteReno-SD.com to get started with your summer project. And we're back, Horizon Healthcare, one of our inning sponsors at Horizon Health. They're focused on what's real and what's rural. With advanced technology and a personal touch, they deliver medical, dental, and behavioral health that's open health care that's open to everyone. Billy Stufen flails at the first pitch and misses. Down in the count, oh, one is Billy. And not only are you good at things, you can see multiple things happening at once. You knew the batter. You knew he flailed at the first pitch. All as you're reading. <laughs> Shoots that one over to the third baseman. McKee up with it and over to first. Credit Billy for hustling down the line, making it a lot closer than I thought it would be. But he is retired. McKee, McKee to Kropinski. Dave Bierman now the batter. He's one for one on the day, batting in that nine spot. Single on a ground ball up the middle that uh, Sweeter laid out for and wasn't able to get up and make the play. It was a very good defensive play to just keep it on the infield. Bierman hits this one to the third baseman again, and that's McKee to Kropinski. We have a theme forming here in this inning. Either that or an echo. <laughs> Instant replay. <laughs> now... You mentioned this the other night, and I could not believe it, but McKee has an opportunity to tie a world record. Yep. Three defensive assists and an inning. Brady Steffen looks at the first pitch, and it was a ball. There's a called strike. Slow, off-speed pitch. And Drew Sweeter takes care of business there on that ground ball, firing it across. There were three up and three down for the snappers in the top of the fifth inning. We'll head into the bottom half, and we'll be back in one minute. Stop in Redfield is a friendly, family-owned business. We carry hot stuff, pizza, sandwiches, and more. Before you take a trip, or if you're just out and about, stop by and fuel up with Sinclair Gasoline from E30 to E85. Use your Dino app for extra savings and your pump and save car for free stuff. Don't forget to visit the automatic car wash for that spotless shine. One Stop in Redfield is a proud supporter of all school sports and activities. Triatel is a telecommunications company that serves over 10 small communities. And just because you live in a small community doesn't mean that you can't get good service. For me, it's really important to be able to work remotely here in the country. If you live in the uh, Triatel service area and you're looking for a good, reliable, high-speed internet connection, we've served our members for 65 years and we're going to be serving you long into the future. Hey farmers, don't have the time or the means to haul your corn to market? Contact Derek or Phil at New Gen Energy. They are receiving corn six days a week and every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. is Farmers Only Haul Day. Located in Marion, South Dakota, New Gen Energy also sells distillers and corn oil. Call 605-648-2100 for all your corn needs and check out their website at NewGenMarion.com. That's N-U-G-E-N-Marion.com. Better back. We're in, welcome back. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. RDO Equipment is our inning sponsor. One of them, discover a wide range of John Deere and Vermeer equipment at one of our RDO store locations, offering top-notch machinery solutions for agriculture and industrial work. First pitch taken for a ball. This is Drew Sweeter. He's one for two on the day. Shoots that one foul. One and one now the count. Great Plains Health. The mission is to improve the wellness of our people by providing quality health care, public health services, and support in partnership with the tribal nations of the Great Plains area. It's 
Nice little play out there by the shortstop, Keel. That ball took a funny spin as it reached the grass and hit. Stayed with it, moved his feet and his glove, and got that strong throw across the diamond. Interesting, top of this order again. Sweeter last time, looking curved, was able to deposit into left field. Got that curve again and turned on it. Just a little better curve out of Stewart there. First pitch from Stewart floats in high for ball one. Hansen 0 for 2. Struck out swinging, grounded out to first. I think the ground out was of the RBI ground out variety, if I'm not mistaken. Taken for a called strike. Nice backdoor curve there. I like the play, though. With nobody on base, it doesn't yeah, make sense. I <laughs> thought the same. <laughs> Gillespie, if, normally when you have runners on the bases, you make it look like that you're going to get there by holding your arm up to keep them close to the bag and from running freely. Well, <laughs> in that case, he probably cost himself a step. Not going to get there, but... <laughs> That's Zach Pitts hitting this one into moderately deep center field, but Stefan ranges over and makes the play. Pitts now 0 for 3 with that fly ball. That'll bring to the plate. This is number 3, Connor Spindler. Spindler 1 for 2, had the line drive single to right center and then ground uh, flied out to the, well, he didn't fly out. That was He's the one that hit the ball to Aiden Erickson at second base that the first baseman called him off on. The first error. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that snowballed things. He's got voodoo in that bat. 2-0 <laughs> the count. 2-0 the count. Nearly clipped him. Going to go for a wild pitch. Nice yeah. job by Aiden Erickson to take a knee and make sure that ball didn't get out into the outfield. Really a delayed takeoff there by Hanson. He didn't see where the ball was. Between the batter, the catcher, and the home plate umpire, he couldn't locate it. And there's a four-pitch walk. So with two down, there are runners on first and second. And the batter will be Chris Kropinski. Chris is 0 for 1 officially. He grounded out to the second baseman, and he sacrificed, bunted, and reached on an error in his second plate appearance. Oh, new hitter. Number 24 step into the plate. This is going to be Matt Galogi. Galogi, uh, a 400 hitter for PBR during the regular season. Galuli. <laughs> Galugli. I've heard three different people yeah, say I know. three different things. I think it's Galogli. <laughs> but what do I, I'm going to trust the KJM announcer. He's announced him all year. <laughs> Two zero count. Stewart, five, six straight balls. Comes to the breaking ball to get one across. Finally needed that. Boy, the mechanic <laughs> starting to fail him a little bit. He's now thrown seventy nine pitches in the game. Here's the 3-1 from Stewart. And that misses, and it's going to load the bases up. Eight of his nine last pitches have been for balls. Does he get out of another jam here? He's got Riley Calhoun coming to the plate. Of course, we referenced last inning how they only gave up one after loading the bases with no outs. They have bases loaded with two outs, and Riley coming to the plate. Taking a look here at Riley's day. 
one for two. He struck out in his first at bat, and then he reached on the bunt single. Bunt single. He's got about eight feet worth of hits today. <laughs> 10 of 11 pitches. Good trip to the mound here by Harming. I watched Stewart as he, after he threw that pitch, and it looked to me like he was looking over at the dugout. I don't know if he maybe has a tweak out there that, you know, something's wrong or... If it's just a mental thing, but he's got to try to work his way out of another jam here. There's a called strike. You saw him really adjust where he starts his uh, stretch. He moved clear over to the right side of that rubber, and this one's inside. PVR now going to take a 3-1 lead on that wild pitch. <laughs> Three and one the count to Riley Calhoun. Runners on second and third. And that one misses. So the last three have reached on walks. Stewart really with bases loaded here and two outs. He's thrown 12 balls out of the last 14. Needs to get on top, does that. Gonna get some li little help with that foul ball out of play for strike one. To put it in perspective, he's still got a 55% strike clip. So he was really good early on yeah. and now struggling as he labors through the fifth inning here. Count will go 1-1 one, one as that misses outside again. Going to be action in the bullpen. That's Burgos, I believe. Got it across, but a little low. Count goes 2-1. First pitch was a foul ball and three straight balls since then. 15 of the last eight, 15 of the last 18 pitches have missed. That arm has just went dead. Gonna get a little help. Keel will get the 6-3 put out. Mental mental error there as Aiden Erickson didn't go over to cover second, so he had to go across the field and uh, make the long throw, but there was one run on one hit, no errors, and three men left on base. We now will head into the top of the sixth with PBR having added to their lead. They are on top 3-1. We'll be back with the snappers half in a minute. Parts closer to home with people who understand your way of life and belong to your community. Primary care providers at Horizon Health know you and know how to help you stay well. We're here to keep you healthy and care for you through every stage of life so you can keep doing what you love and make every day a better one. Schedule an appointment at horizonhealthcare.org. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. It might be time for you to strongly consider leasing bulls from Jorgensen Land and Cattle. Here's Cody. Well, it's, it's a really good option to acquire some excellent genetics uh, for an affordable price. Uh, it's become really popular. When you first hear about lease bulls, sometimes it may frighten a person. So that this is a different ball game. You know, there's a there's a genetic program behind these bulls. These are bulls that, that have a genetic program and, and really are designed genetically to very nice calves. Call 1-800-548-BULL. 
at Lesterville. We're back. Logan Keel is the batter. He's down in the count 0-2. He took the first one for a called strike. Second one he swung on and missed. And now he's the third pitch. So that's a ball one and two. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a punchy. This inning brought to you by Elite Renovations. If you're looking to update or upgrade your roof, siding, or decking, we've got you covered. Interior trim, cabinet, drywalls, we've got the crews, too. And new gen. Explore ways how new gen can help you sell your crop and check your bids. First pitch, a foul ball, foul tip. In Marion, New Gen is a proud supporter of all athletes at the State Amateur Baseball Tournament. So they are located in Marion. 2 1 count here to Erickson. Boy, he's had a couple cuts, though. He's not getting cheated. Two two on the way. One two. Mm, I think it's two two. No, oh, just flashed it. Did he? Mm -hmm. Two and two the count. It was just foreshadowing. <laughs> All over. He must be psycho. I mean psychic. <laughs> or both. <laughs> <laughs> Erickson fought that one off. It's two two again. Now the count goes full. Haven't had many full count pitches here. No, we really. Maybe one other previously. Oh, wow. Williams with a great throw. That's a seriously bad call, in my opinion. <laughs> I didn't see the call. But it got away from Williams, and he made right, a because big it time was throw. Not close, in my opinion. <laughs> big time throw, though, to make sure he took care of matters, and he did. That'll bring Gillespie to the plate. Swing and miss. Doesn't get cheated. Hoffman, 70th pitch. Seitz has had a pretty consistent zone. He's been a little tight, but when you see one like that, it just kind of boggles the mind. Dylan Gillespie comes up with a line drive single. <coughs> Sattler steps into the plate. The first baseman is the number five hitter in this lineup. He's 0 for 2. He's went down by strikeout, both of those appearances. Swings and misses at the first offering and comes up empty. Well, I guess that would be implied yep. by the miss. <laughs> well, 0 and 1. I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> <laughs> Chopper back to the mound and... Quick inning. Hoffman underhands it over to first base, and that's going to do it for the snappers in the top of the sixth inning. No uh, no runs. One hit, no errors, one man left, uh, left on base. We'll head into the bottom of the sixth. We'll be back in a minute. Green, they pride themselves on offering top-notch products at competitive prices. Whether you're looking for feed for your livestock or grains for your crops, they have you covered. And with their market bids, you can rest easy knowing you're getting the best deal possible. But it's not just about the products, it's about the service. Their knowledgeable staff is there to help answer any questions you may have and provide expert advice to help you succeed in your farming endeavors. Shields All Sports Store is your one stop for everything outdoors, with local experts eager to guide you through the widest selection of brands. Your one stop for exercise gear, to get working out, or fashions for going out. And your one stop for footwear, in your size, your style, yours to take home today. 
Shields, employee-owned, community-minded, and like no place you've ever shopped before. Dr. Kelly told me... And we're back here in the bottom of the sixth inning. This inning brought to you by Farmers Union Insurance. For more than 65 years, Farmers Union Insurance has been insuring a brighter tomorrow by investing in the rural community while protecting what matters most to you. And also Olson's Pest Services. They offer dependable pest control services for both residential and commercial properties. Their service extends throughout South Dakota and the upper Midwest. Give them a call and tell your friends all across the Midwest to do their business with Olson's. That's O-L-E-S-E-N, Olson's Pest Services. Braden Panconen going to get a hold of that one. Going to hit it all of 350 into that right center gap, and he's got speed, and this will be a stand-up triple. Not a stand-up. It'll be a triple, though. First pitch deposited perfectly into the right center gap. That'll bring pickup player Heath Williams to the plate. Panconen going to flip this over to the top of the order with a man in scoring position. Here's the pitch and the chopper over to the third baseman and foul. A bender that catches the plate, and it's an 0-2 count to Heath Williams. Caught all of that plate. Started outside and broke right across the heart of the plate. Gasses that one up a little bit. Hit over, hit over to the first baseman. Sattler ranges back and makes the catch, and then fires home to keep Pancone down Pancone. question. Yeah. <laughs> but great stop there by uh, Pan or uh, Harmin. But look at Stewart back here behind. Remember, he took that shot off the ankle early. And he came to back up home plate on the throw to home. And during that stretch in the last half inning when he threw 15 of 18 pitches for a ball, I was wondering, is that ankle That's giving him problems? That's a good point. We're going to step away for 30 seconds. Staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home. Now, and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. The heart of farming season. All right, we're back. Aiden Stewart going to try to tough it out. He threw one warm-up toss and really was ginger. Stepped off the mound gingerly. And he kicked the ground a couple times and must have snapped something back in place. <laughs> First pitch to Drew Sweeter was taken for a ball. Sweeter's one for three on the game. Again, the uh, runner remains at third base. This ball, a bender that misses. That was a nice pitch selection there. Last two times up, Sweeter has been able to look for and find a curve that he's been able to pull. He just started that one out a little further. He didn't start that one out further. Nope. Said, get off my plate. Counts 3-0, and oh, though. Limping again as he climbs back up the hill. Here's the 
And that's nowhere near. Yeah, he just looked at the dugout and said, you got to take me out. Eric's, Coach Erickson going to come out and he'll spike the ball. Stewart does on the mound in disgust. There's going to be a pitching change. It's going to be Elysia or something like that. Burgos, Burgos um, did throw in the district tournament. Actually, a very, very good game. Gave up the one earned, unearned run to Clark in the opening round. He hasn't been on the mound since, so he should be fresh. We'll let him get loose, and we'll uh, step away for a minute. Is coming up, and Kayton International is your KHIH dealer in Crofton, Nebraska. Kayton International offers top notch parts and service to keep your equipment running smoothly all season long. Their team of experts is there to help with any maintenance or repairs you may need, so you can focus on what you do best farming. And don't forget to check out their website for the latest deals and promotions. Whether you're in the market for a new piece of equipment or just need some replacement parts, Kayton International has you covered. We travel in packs, fearless first-timers and go-getters, sightseers and mudslingers, trail conquerors and adrenaline junkies. We believe great rides deserve great company. And wherever the ride takes us, there's always room for one more. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Discover a piece of Welcome back to Cadwell Park. This is the 92nd annual state tournament. State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Upton Snappers taking on Del Rapids PBR. And we have our first pitching change of the game. So this is E-L-I-E-Z-E-R, Eliezer Burgos, we'll, we'll say. I've heard it said a couple times, and I think I'm saying it wrong, but Eliezer. Eliezer. Um, in an interesting turn of events, Aiden Stewart went to right field, so Burgos is going to be in the eight hole in the lineup. He'll be third up this next inning. If batting they, for Stufen, you if said. If they choose to have him bat, he could just be on to get him out of a situation. Batted 100 on the season. I was watching Stewart's. <clears throat> found it interesting with an ankle injury that he's going to stay in the game in right field. He was okay when he was moving forward. It's when he was moving backwards or when he was on the bump, pushing off with that left leg. So left leg injury out there, and he's going to stay in right field. Weston Hansen, the third batter in the order, is up to bat with runners on the corners and one out. There goes the runner. Harming throws it down to cut play. Ball one, Drew Sweeter swipes second. Hanson, one for three. I know you probably said that already, but he's got a couple ducks on the pond for him here. And there's a called strike. <clears throat> Burgos against the Traders did a good job of keeping him off stride. I'm not going to say that no two pitches were the same back-to-back, -back, but... Uh, he changed his speed pretty well. Two and one the count to Weston Hansen. Corners are up, middle infield about halfway. Here's the pitch. Floats in there and it's fouled into the screen. Yeah, he's shifting arm angles. He's <laughs> shifting his release points up and down all over the place. He's just a little cat out mm -hmm. there. He also doesn't speak English um, because the boys on the field, and that one's foul tipped. 
the boys on the field were speaking Spanish to him, and then they were yucking it, like yucking it up. Like I don't even know Spanish, but I've been trying to learn, like <laughs> looking things up on the internet and stuff like that. So they're trying to be good teammates and support him in his native tongue. That's awesome. Chopper and it's a foul ball. It's a good call. Just fouled down that third base line in front of the third base bag. Beerman went over and got it. And <laughs> that was interesting. And as far as the mechanics go, sites, the home plate ump gave way to the third base ump, and it was on this side of the bag. Right, it was on the home plate side. Here's the 2 2. And he nice pumps pitch. up a little, little more, bit more velocity and went nibbling but missed. Three and two the count. Eniser. There's a flare into right field. Stewart comes in. And Braden fakes as though he's going to go and... <clears throat> draws the throw, but nothing doing. Now Stewart's bent over out there, showing the ill effects of a little Saturday jog. What were you going to say? I was just saying Pitt's coming to the plate, that flag waving out a little bit. Deep fly ball in his last at-bat to <laughs> center field. Pitts has been held at bays, yeah. 0 for 3 so far. Fouls this one off into the net. Boy, if you're a Snappers fan, if they could strand another couple out there. That would be a little bit energizing because they've been in a couple jams. I see. Uh, I was telling that I had messed up the bracket. Um, in the in the district, district. tournament, I got to own it. Um, it actually affected the team that I'm associated with adversely. But Eric said, if you take out game ten, then it makes it makes sense. But it doesn't because that would mean that nobody could come through the losers bracket and actually get in. You have to have a last chance game, which ultimately works out to be four versus five if everything goes according to seed. So they would match up in the first round and in the last round. But that's all conjecture at this point. We'll just have to fix it next year. Pitts followed that one back, and it's one and two. Fouled off again. Zach Pitts staying alive. Burgos kind of gave him a look there as he fouled that one off. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I had you. <laughs> well, maybe he'll try a different arm slot or a different pitch here. Over the top. There it is. He gets him. <laughs> so there were no runs on one hit, no errors, and two men left. Two men left, right? Two men? Yeah. <laughs> Dan well, Conan, that leadoff triple stranded at third and Sweeter at second. We're two-thirds of the way through this game. We'll be back with the top of the seventh in 60 seconds. Americana at Cones Corner, a renowned 1920s rural gas station turned firearm haven in the upper Midwest. Since 2004, the updated store has preserved nostalgia with gas pumps and snacks for travelers alongside a selection of 2,500 firearms. Purchase in-store or through Charlie for global delivery. They buy single guns, entire collections, and offer trades. Whether you're a collector or looking to sell, they've got you covered. Cones Corner, proud sponsor of Castlewood Youth Athletics and Events. At Heartland State Bank, our customers are at the center of everything we do. Heartland State Bank is a family-owned community bank and here for you. We have an experienced lending staff for fast, local decisions. 
Heartland State Bank offers competitive rates and is proud to provide Uptown services with a hometown touch. With four locations in Redfield, Tulare, Westington, and Highmore, we aspire to support the communities we live and work in. Heartland State Bank, member FDIC. And we're back here in the top of the seventh inning, this half inning brought to you by CHS. If you are looking for a place where you can use your skills and expertise to make a difference, consider CHS. CHS, I believe that's Cynics Harvest States, is a proud supporter of all things live ticket dot tv Aiden Stewart oh. hits the ball foul Gilly Uli Uli Gilly Goo the uh, first Gilly. baseman I think <laughs> <laughs> he tried to range back and come up with it falls harmlessly but I was watching Stewart really limping down that line actually I thought he got down the line pretty good considering oh. he was hobbled well but you can tell he's favoring it significantly. Stewart, so the number seven hitter in this lineup. 0 for 2 with one strikeout today. Make it two strikeouts as that's a backwards K. Hoffman now. Brock Talley had nine strikeouts through six and a third. I think, I think you said that he was the seven batter in the yep. lineup. He is the six, so this is seven. Okay. And it might show differently on Game Changer because I know that sometimes the in-game box score is out of order. No, he is six. You're right. Okay. That's going to be a hit. Charlie Harming comes up with a base hit. You couldn't have thrown it out there any better. Yeah. It was just in no man's land. Absolutely in my opinion, the only person who could have possibly gotten there was the second baseman, and that was very difficult. That would have been spectacular had he been able to get there. You know, Spindler's going back. He points at Pancona, and Pancona realizes he can't get there. He points at Calhoun breaking from center field, and bottom end result, bottom line, base hit. No error. There's a monster in the house. I think it's Erickson that's the. Who what? Are you looking at the uh, pinch runner? <laughs> yeah. Courtesy. This one popped up, and it is going to be Spindler this time that will take it. Takes charge and gets the out. Two away, and that will bring to the plate. Beerman, the third baseman. Looks a lot like uh, the catcher. Williams. Where's the lineup card for the snappers? Uh, you have it down there, sir. Pick off and they get him. The oh, youngster oh. is going to get nailed. Hoffman, that lefty, caught him straying away from the bag just a little too far. And he's going to get picked. That was uh, Legion pickup. That got plucked there. That's Elliot, Elliot Erickson that yep. Elliot Erickson. picked off. So that's going to end the inning. There were no runs, one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll head into the bottom of the seventh. We'll stretch, and we'll be back in 60 to 90 seconds. Like the smallest town in South Dakota, so how could it have everything you need when you may find yourself in the middle of nowhere? But at Canova Service Center, whatever you may need in the middle of nowhere, that's where they are. Fencing, lumber yard, hardware, oil changes, tire sales, and repair. Rental equipment, feed bunks, cattle shelters, convenience store, and more. So no, you're not in the middle of nowhere. It's the Canova Service Center. We're your local one-stop shop. This is Angela, owner and operator of Amcota Farm and Home Center. From the DIYers, fixer-uppers, to contractors, we have what you need to get the job done. Building supplies, Valspar paint, and tools. Crystal X tubs, fencing supplies, and bog boots for your farm needs. We know how busy life can get. We offer delivery to make your life easier. Amcota Farm and Home Center on Dakota Avenue in Westington Springs. Big city value. If you love being out there. And we're back here in the bottom of the seventh inning. This inning brought to you 
by somebody. Elstrad Ace Hardware in Mitchell. Shop Elstrad Ace Hardware in Mitchell, as I just said, for grills, hardware, home improvement, lawn and garden, and tools. Lawn and garden, one thought, and tools. Buy online and pick up today. First batter at the plate for Del Rapids is going to be Connor Spindler. Spindler taking a look at the box score today. Going to take that first pitch, and it's going to be booted right off the heel of the glove over at third base, and that'll be an error. Bierman, hot shot. That's why you put a guy like that over on the corner, normally probably a little more sure-handed. That one kicked off the heel and out of the glove. So man aboard, and that'll bring to the plate Galugli, right? Yeah. Galugli. <laughs> I heard it, and I'm going to go with it. Galugli. We'll go with Luongo. Galugli shows bunt, pulls back, and it's a called strike. What did he bat on the season? Uh, Galugli. <laughs> Let's take a quick look. He was a 400 hitter. Waving that bat. Daryl Strawberry style. <laughs> and then he drops a bunt. <laughs> Now, they're going to have a play, but Erickson didn't cover. Another mental error, and that's unfortunate because Charlie Harming did make the right decision. Time called by Erickson. That's a fielder's choice, no error. Oh, the error, though, after, after there is an error, sorry. Down a second, the error was committed by Erickson as it scooted into center field. That'll put runners on the corners for PBRs. They're putting together another threat here in the bottom of seven. They've been stymied the two previous innings. Had bases loaded with one out, one out and got one back in the fifth. Last inning, they started out with a leadoff triple by Panconin. Sweeter ended up on second, and they stranded those two on the bags. So again, runners on second and third. Can Burgos dig in and do it again? Eliezer, medieval slayer. <laughs> There's, but I think it's a harder Z. Eliezer. I like that. I think that's how I've heard it. Eliezer. Got him brush back the batter here at the plate. This is Riley Calhoun. You know, the snappers have they've committed four errors now and they've kind of come in bunches when they've happened. Um, but they're still in this game. It's three to one. Really they, are. If they can just get out of this without extensive damage, they still have a chance. One and two the count to Riley Calhoun. Struck out in his first plate appearance. Oh, that one was awfully close. He dipped the shoulder, but that almost caught is what you're saying, right? His, his hit was the bunt hit, and then he walked in his third plate appearance. Yeah. Two and two the count. Getting a lot of respect in left field. Possibly going to be a tag. Yep. They're going to send him, and he's going to be hosed. What a play. Stefan in center field with the crow hop and the dish to home. And I know Spindler's asking, did he take me? Because he went wide right at the home plate, and I'm not sure that tag was put on him. Well, I don't know bang, if he's bang. touched the plate. Maybe he did go back and touch, but. What a play. Not a That'll be the Nate oh. McKee. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Hit by a pitch in his first plate appearance. I think that was the one that was probably a strike. Yeah. And then right off the gloves, maybe ground, the grounded fingernails. <laughs> grounded out twice. But, yeah, it was. Probably over the in, inner third of the plate. Grounded out to the shortstop and grounded out to the second baseman. We got two down, runner on second base. 
Burgos trying to work out of what looked like it was going to be a jam. First pitch taken high and in. Nice breaking ball. Going to cut across for. That was a sweeper. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'd say 10 to 4 kind of curveball. Not quite the 9 to 3 that you. Right. Yeah. Comes over the top this time. Fouled off. One thing he's proven to be is slippery. They had him in a pickle when he came in last inning. Yeah. He is able to get out of it, and here he had runners on second and third with no outs. Gets the fly ball and the throw to home for the double play. Big pitch here, and he can get out of another pickle. I'm going to take a run at it. That was Galog uh, yep. Galogli. Yeah. Logly. I think it's here in the next L. But he was chased oh. back. Burgos thought he had the strike three looking. <sighs> Nothing to do in there, says the home plate umpire. First time today, Deuce is wild. Here's the pitch. Gets a, gets a bat on it and stays alive. Yeah, it was a good pitch. It's one you got to fight off too close to not try to fight off. Here's the 2 2 again. And a wave and a miss. <laughs> no runs, no hits, two errors, and one man left on base. The snappers dodged a bullet. Let's see if they can cash in with. A little momentum swing here in the top of the eighth. We'll be back in one minute. Side, solving problems and working with your hands, apply now at James Valley Landscape Solutions. James Valley offers on-the-job training in all aspects of the green industry with modern equipment and technology and competitive pay. Benefits include overtime pay, health care, dental, vision, and more. Apply now at jamesvalleylandscape.com or in person at 600 West Spruce in Mitchell. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator is a proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Mustangs at the State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator has been servicing the Mount Vernon area for over 75 years. See them for your agronomy and feed needs no matter the farming season. They will take care of all your grain handling needs as well. Mount Vernon Farmers Elevator would like to wish the Mustangs and all the teams best of luck at the state tournament. Lucky for us, life. And we're back here in the top of the eighth inning, Dakota Land Federal Credit Union. Ooh, they're going to get a, an extra mention here. They're a full-service financial institution taking pride in serving their members. They offer savings accounts, checkings, checking accounts, credit cards, and Advantage ATM and debit cards. Hoffman staying consistent. First pitch strike. Beerman waves and misses. He's down in the count 0-2 now. Hoffman showing pretty good pop on that fastball here in the seventh. Excuse me, eighth, top of the eighth. Hey, Beerman going to deposit that one. Two strike hit. Well, that's just what the doctor ordered because that rolls us over to the top of the order with a guy on. See what Steve Erickson has in mind. Brady Stephan is fleet of foot. He's over three so far today. Will they try to move him and chip away? He's grounded out. Three times on the infield. Reached on an error one of those times. First pitch taken for a ball. Didn't show signs of bunting. McKee playing even with the grass, just in case. One and one now the count. Oh, 
Here's the pitch. A chopper. Wide to first. One and two the count to Brady Steffen. Short lead over at first. Here's the pitch, and he lifts this one. Lazy. I think it's in foul territory, and it is. Gilogli made a nice attempt. Trying to get it over the shoulder and uh, sees it go off the heel of his glove, pop out. One and two the count. Hoffman now at 87 pitches. A little token throw over to first base. Chases Bierman back. And a wave and a miss. Not a productive out. And that's unfortunate. If you're Elkton, you would have loved to have seen the leadoff guy who got on moved up in some fashion. 0 for 4 with a strikeout from your leadoff. Mm -hmm. That'll bring the shortstop, Keel, to the plate. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts and has walked once. A wave and a miss. Gillespie on deck, Sattler in the hole. Nope. Right? Delete. Erickson on deck, and Gillespie in the hold. That's what I said. Something like that. <laughs> so on the called strike. Oh, and to the count to Logan Keel, the shortstop for the snappers. Here's the pitch. And nice this is going to be a base hit over the second baseman. Runners go station to station. Both hits have come on 0-2 fat pitches. Fat is a key word, man. And all I did was put the bat on the ball, found some grass. It's going to draw a visit from the pitching coach. He's on the trot, so we're going to stay here. I don't think they're looking to make a move just yet. Going to try to talk, settle them down a little bit. Refocus him. There's one down. Runners on first and second. Bierman. Not as fleet of foot as Keel, if my memory serves me correctly. So it might take a couple knocks. I'm not saying he's slow, but I am saying that there are pretty good arms in the outfield, and they're probably not going to get real spendy with the base runners at this point. As they come into the heart of the order, this is Aiden Erickson, and as we said, Gillespie waits on deck. Here's the pitch. Foul off, out of play. Erickson's taken some big hacks in his previous at-bats and not made contact with the ball there. He took a big hack and was a little bit late, but he's dialing in on Hoffman slowly here. Ball off the plate. So he sacrificed, bunted in his first plate appearance, and then was hit by a pitch. And then he got called out on that wild pitch. And there's a called strike. Bet he wants that one back. <laughs> yeah. A little above the belt, just off center of the plate. Hanging fastball. Oof. That one misses. Since that trip to the mound, Hoffman has really, in my opinion, picked up the velocity. I was going to say he's pumping it up there a little bit. That one shot out into right field. It's hit too hard and too direct. Third two strike hit. But this time it was it was a, a better pitcher's pitch. I thought it yeah. was going after the corner. But a nice piece of hitting there by the kid to go with the pitch and knock it out into right field. So the most dangerous hitter in the uh, snappers lineup, in my humble opinion, is up. He is their cleanup batter. 
We've seen him hit some laser beams. He's got one hit today. And he, that was a that was a shot on the line, capable of knocking it out of here. He's one of three today. He does not do that this time. It's going to be a, a hit. base hit. Yeah. Sweeter did everything he could to get to the ball, and he was going to try to make a very tough play to second base. Mechanically, he would have had to have planted and came right across the chest. I don't know that he had a play there or at first. So Gillespie does his job. He puts the tying run 90 feet away with that infield single. And that'll bring Sattler, the first baseman, to the plate. He has struggled today. He's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. A swing and a miss. The uh, ground out that he was credited, or not, that was the, the ground out that was scored the last time I just looked, it was pitcher to first. This is tough. We have a tie game as there is no double play. That was a great play over at third. It took a wicked yeah. spin off the grass. McKee knocks it down, gets the tag of the bag at third for the second out. But that will score Keel from third to tie this game 3-3. <coughs> At the plate here, this is uh, Sat no, Stewart, correct? The right fielder. It is. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. But has swung a pretty good bat in his previous matchups here with Hoffman. Chop foul and out of, well, not out of play, but over to the first base coach. <coughs> the Hubers are here. I saw that earlier. Oh, oh, to the two. count with <laughs> two down, runners on first and second. Here's the pitch, and that one's high and in. One ball and two strikes. Gillespie, the runner at second, Sattler over at first. What kind of speed out at second? Well, I think they'd take a chance if given the opportunity. Put it that way. Oh, my goodness. That's the first one I've seen get that deep into the stands. <laughs> Without hitting the awning. Yeah. Yeah. So you're safe, apparently, row one, two, three, four, five. Five rows down. From it's the actually press box. seven, but he ran out of toes. I did. <laughs> and there's a foul ball once again. Aiden Stewart proving to be a tough out here. I've got. It's one and two. Hoffman kicks it home and it's turns on that and smashes it way foul. Corn Palace may have a dent in it. <laughs> Out there in right field, ping. Oh, <laughs> well, I was going to say he's playing awfully deep, but a swing and a miss, so he comes up empty. But the snappers come up with two runs on four hits. There were no errors and two men left on base. The plot thickens. It We're does. tied at three as we head into the bottom of the eighth. We'll be back in a minute. It's full of choices, big and small. They define us, make us who we are. And when it comes time for you to choose a car, home, your next big adventure or start a new business farmers union insurance has the variety of coverage options to protect each perfect moment farmers union insurance contact your local farmers union insurance agent today each family's needs are different and special will funeral chapel will listen with sensitivity answer all questions and respect your choices. The Will Funeral Chapel staff can assist you in planning and coordinating all the details. They will explain all the different options to make you feel at ease and most comfortable with all the decisions. Find out more by visiting their website at willfuneralchapel.com. Their sincerest hope is that you and your family will be comforted by their efforts. 
Are you in need of high quality lumber for your next project? Looking for top notch agronomy services to keep your crops thriving? Need a reliable source of propane and fuel for your home or business? Look no further than Tabor Lumber Co-op. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIY enthusiast, Tabor Lumber Co-op has everything you need to get the job done right. And with their competitive prices and top-notch customer service, you'll be glad you chose Tabor Lumber Co-op for all your lumber, propane, and agronomy services. Do you have a pest? Braden. Is that live? Yeah, we are. Really sorry, I just screamed in your ears, but <laughs> Joe said, who we got up? Bottom of the eighth brought to you by Will Funeral Chapel. Will Funeral Chapel provides complete funeral services to the local community of Mitchell and the surrounding area. Pancona is going to sky one here on the infield. Burgos giving way and... Error. Yeah, there's the communication breakdown. The catcher has absolutely no business being the guy that's, you know, that's charged with trying to make that play, and they had everybody. I mean... Pitcher was there. Third baseman was there. Somebody should have called him off. It's the most difficult uh, mitt to make a catch with. And let's see how things go here because every time they've committed that first error, they seem to come in bunches. Can they get over this one right away? Well, and he's going to bunt, I'll bet. Great throw. It's going to be late. Pancona, just too much speed. Do you bunt again or show bunt again or do you play to knock it in? I think the safe bet is to bunt him over and see if one of the next two guys can push him across or if maybe there's an errant throw from the pitcher or something like that, a pest ball, wild pitch, something. Williams was pretty nonchalant about picking that ball up. I don't know if he maybe he was wanting it to hit a rock and bounce foul or something. Right. He does get Williams by about a half step, and that'll bring Drew Sweeter to the plate. Sweeter, one for three today, is walked also in four plate appearances. Against Stewart, he was really dialing into that curveball from the lefty. Let's see what he's looking. Had one previous look here at Burgos. See if he's figured anything out. Tough to figure him out, though, because you get so many different looks out of the young man, Eliezer. First pitch was a ball. Go ahead, run 90 feet away, and again, that was... If you're just tuning in, the runner reached on an error. Here's the pitch. That ball skips in there for a ball. 2-0, oh, the count. Here's the 2-0. Oh. It's going to do the job. Yeah, it is. It's going to get down. Sweeter thinking three, and he's going to get three. Credit him with a triple. RBI triple finally able to drive in a run without leaving men on base is PBR. That will give him back the lead four to three. As Sweeter is now two for four today. Hansen will be coming to the plate. He is one for four. Has drove in a run previously. Let's see if he can pick up another RBI for PBR. Another insurance run. Burgos misses outside, low and away for ball one. Niblin, he's not... Missing by a lot there. From 
Hansen, Pitts, Spindler. Tough spot for Burgos. That one shot through the infield, which was drawn in. Looking to chop the run, and instead they took away the angles and didn't have an opportunity to flag that one down. So calculated risk that you take. And in this case, it didn't work out. Pitts will step in, 0 for 4 here today. He's looking to get on track. Yeah, I was going to say. Get one knocked in. He's not real happy with himself as he turns and lets the bat fly. Erickson ranges out into shallow right field and makes the play. The DH, 0 for 5 today. That's why he's mad at himself. You'd never know. He might not be mad at himself for that. Maybe he picked the wrong lottery numbers. <laughs> or forgot to buy a ticket. I'd like to be. <laughs> Ooh, Spindler wears that one. So the batter will be the first baseman, Matt Gologli. I, I think I got it, but I, think I still did. stumbled over it. <laughs> it shouldn't be that tough. Runners on first and second. He had 400 this season doing it, so. 0 for 1 today with a walk is Gilugly. Gilugly. <laughs> first pitch taken for a called strike. That one fouled off out of play. Well, that's dangerous. They're all looking at cars, and that's where I park. <laughs> oh, and to the count. Yep. You saw that storm that went through winter. Yeah. Ooh, that was nasty. Dropped one big hailstone. Yeah, it did. A swing and a miss, and that's going to do it, but not before the Del Rapids Mudcats regain, I'm sorry, the Del Rapids PBRers regain the lead, and they score two runs on two hits, a costly error, and two men left on base. We'll head into the top of the ninth. Elkton needs a little magic again. Try to tie it up or take a lead when we come back in 60 seconds. Problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Agronomy Plus in Mitchell, Rock Creek in Howard, and Valley Station in Armour are your 100% locally owned team of agronomy experts. We offer Agronomy 365, which provides info in real time to make decisions that result in better, more profitable farming. We know you and your operation with service beyond compare. Get a jump on spring planning with Agronomy Plus in Mitchell, Rock Creek in Howard, and Valley Station in Armour. We are ag done right, the American way. Well, we got a fruit basket upset here as Drew Sweeter comes under the hill to try to close things out. Weston Hansen now at second base, counter spindler at shortstop. Riley Hoffman goes to left, and he'll be in the DH spot in the lineup if we need a bottom of the ninth. 
First pitch to Harming, a called strike. Harming, Stufen, no, Stufen's out of the lineup. Did Burgos bat last time? Yep. He did. Popped up on the infield though, to the second baseman, I believe. And Bierman, Harming, Burgos, Bierman. First three batters here for the snappers. Here's the pitch. And that one misses on the out, misses, uh, but I guess catches enough of the plate somehow. The fourth backwards K of the day. Uh, again, you settle in and kind of figure out what the ump's zone is, and it changed about the fifth inning or sixth. <laughs> He's still been pretty good. I don't want to. I don't want to be too critical. He'll probably come back and watch this and think I'm a real jerk. But there have been a few that have been uncharacteristic. Burgos hustling, but he's going to get pegged as Drew Sweeter makes a very athletic play. Sweeter goes off the bump to his uh, right, does the slide, plants, comes up, and delivers a strike. To Gologly for the 1 3 put out. It was very athletic. And David Bierman up, and the Elkton Snappers are down to their final out, and they've got two strikes to play with here. Here's the pitch. Sweeter just gets after it. Well, now he's going to make a liar out of me. Tugs at his shirt a couple times. Now he fires. If you're Beerman, you need to wear that one. Absolutely have to. You need a base runner, at least one base runner right now to get things started any way possible. 3-1 now the count. Is that one will miss outside. <laughs> that was a strike. <laughs> even even Beerman he stood there. He knew it was a strike. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder who was more surprised, the catcher, the pitcher, or the batter? The batter. I think. <laughs> Courtesy runner now in. It's Elliot. Kind of, yep. No, he'd be pinch. Batter at the plate. This is your leadoff hitter, center fielder, Stefan. He is 0 for 4 today, has struck out and scored. Elton down to their last strike. Ball misses, low and in. One and two the count. Elliot Erickson, the runner at first base, as he replaced Bierman. Here's the pitch, and a tap foul stays alive. Boy, right off the end of the bat. Staying alive, staying alive. Uh, uh. I called it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've got four or three, three. Uh, the rotation just straight, ingrained yeah. in my head. <laughs> oh, hey, Stefan goes it. down and gets that and delivers a base hit and does keep the snappers' hopes alive. Elliot Erickson goes first to third. Snapper's not going away just yet. That'll bring Keel to the plate. He's one for three today. Has struck out twice, walked once, and scored once. Tying run on first base. The guy at third means nothing. Good idea to chase him back. Stefan is pretty fast, and they want him in scoring position. Do you? Send him? 
coach? I would. I might wait for a pitch, but <clears throat> he you talk about not doing any good right now. He he's two hits away. Yeah, you gotta get him up. We talked about this two nights ago. <laughs> yep. Good speed where if you get that knock, you're gonna send him. Sweeter gonna dial in and strike. For that matter, if you're the catcher, you pop up and you throw and you don't care about the guy at third because that's your guy. You want him you don't want him in scoring position. Sweeter knows what the uh, situation is. Oh and to the count. Logan Keel, one for three on the day, trying to keep him alive. Misses. One and two. If you're Keel, you've got to be protecting anything close. He sold that as a ball. That <laughs> uh, was plenty close to him. You still got to sell it in this case. <laughs> <gasps> well, and he was trying to sell that one, but it was a two-two pitch. Two, I know. <laughs> he knew that he got fooled. He knew he got caught looking. Uh, so that's going to do it. Elkton goes down. One, uh, no runs, one hit, no errors, and two men left on base. That's going to do it here in the uh, first game here on Saturday. I got to tally these pitching situations up. And I'll get you some stats. <coughs> For Elkton, there were three runs on eight hits. They committed five errors. PBR, five runs, eight hits. They committed two errors. Heath Williams went one for four for PBR. Drew Sweeter, two for four with a run scored in an RBI, also walked once. Weston Hansen, two for five with a run scored and two RBIs. Connor Spindler, one for three with a run scored, also walked once. Matt Gologli walked one time. Riley Calhoun, one for three with a base on balls. Nate, was it Nate McKee? Yeah. He went... Uh, he, had, he scored a run and had an RBI, and Braden Pinkonen, one for three with a run scored, also walked once. Drew Sweeter and Braden Pinkonen, Pan, Pankonen, both with triples. On the other side, for the Elkton Snappers, Brady Steffen went one for five with a run scored. Logan Keel, one for four with a run scored, also walked once. Aiden Erickson, one for two. Dylan Gillespie, two for four with an RBI. Kellen Sattler had an RBI. Charlie Harming, one for four. David Bierman in the nine hole, two for three with a run scored and also walked once. On the mound, Riley Hoffman goes eight innings, gives up seven hits, three runs. They were all earned. Walked one, struck out 11. Drew Sweeter mops up and gets the save. So Riley Hoffman credited with the win. Drew Sweeter with the save. One inning of work, gave up a hit, walked one, and struck out two. For the snappers, Aiden Stewart battled through. He started out the hot hand and then uh, got tweaked an ankle and well, had a ball hit off his foot and uh, worked through five and a third, gave up six hits, three runs, only two were earned, walked five, struck out four, and then how did you decide to, that we're going to say it? Gilogly. Elise, Eliezer. Oh, Eliezer. Eliezer Burgos worked two and, a, two and two thirds innings, gave up two hits, two runs, one of those was earned. Struck out three, didn't walk anybody, and he's going to be tagged with the hard luck loss. And frankly... He was slippery, though, man. <laughs> he got out of a couple jams and, and uh, didn't, didn't deserve it because the decisive run was one of the two unearned runs on the day. Um, 
but, but he that's was partially how, responsible for that as he, the pop-up in the infield, the catcher comes out to get it instead of him taking charge to capture it. So True. There were others who could have probably gotten there besides the pitcher and the first or pitcher and the catcher as well. But right. um, as I said, Burgos gets the hard luck, tough luck loss. Um, he was slippery. Stewart <laughs> plunked one batter, Burgos plunked a batter, and Hoffman clipped one. So that's going to do it from the uh, South Dakota Amateur Baseball State Tournament here in Game 1 on Saturday. We'll be back in about 20 minutes with Game 2. Thank you for tuning in. And for Jody Brozick and Caleb Titsy, this is... And, and Morgan. Morgan. Gill. Sorry, Morgan. She's, she's covering her face as though the camera's on her. And she's so shy, she doesn't want anybody to see her. <laughs> but uh, this is Brock Greenfield. We're out for now, and we'll be back in 20.